Hey guys, what's going on? I'm SM22, and you guys just saw the, you guys, I don't know, I just recorded the last tier list video, and I was like, hey, I had a lot of fun with that, why don't I make another tier list? So I said, hey, Nintendo consoles and handhelds, okay, oh, uh, you guys are really gonna see me dish out on all this stuff, by the way, I do not have all of these consoles, but I have played a majority of them, so... Uh, yeah, okay, let's let's do this right now, but the blah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start off in the virtual boy tier. It's virtual boy, <laughs> obviously. Um, I never played the virtual boy, but I heard it was pretty bad. And honestly, I wouldn't want to because the freaking goggles just like uh, giving you migraines, aneurysms, cancer, you know, giving you all that stuff. I don't even know, but virtual boy sucks. Die, virtual boy. Get out of here. Okay, we're going C tier now. Virtual Boy was the only one that I disliked. I like all of these, at least a little bit. Um, okay, let's start off in C tier. We're going to start off with my boy in C tier. We're going to start off with... You guys may be surprised by this. Okay, we're going to start off with the Game Boy Color at the bottom of C tier. I don't really... I mean, I like the Game Boy Color. It's fine. But it didn't have as much impact as the Game Boy. And, like, it did have a lot of exclusive games on it. But most of the games, for me uh, at least, outside of Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, none of them really appealed to me all too much. So, honestly, like, it was basically just uh, Game Boy 2, and that should made, make it better than the Game Boy. But I'm, I'm talking not what it can play, I'm talking exclusives to it. Like, like, yes, the Game Boy Color can play every single Game Boy game. But those are Game Boy games. Those aren't Game Boy Color games, you know? Speaking of things that can play that isn't good at playing things, it is actually just kind of there. I mean, NES <laughs> for me. Like, the okay, the NES was revolutionary. And yes, the NES saved the video game market and stuff. And I have an NES. It's over there, and I have much games on it. And my aunt gave me the NES. So it, it is sentimental like that. But playing the games... The games look terrible, man. They're they're bad. They're very bad. They're just they're not good. <laughs> just looking at the NES and the SNES, there's a huge jump in quality. Like, have you ever played the old Super Mario Brothers? Yeah, you probably have because it's been released on every single console ever. Yeah, but it's bad. It's not good. <laughs> it's it's a it's like it looks terrible. At least to me. At least to me, it does. Like. Hey, a uh, little editor's note right here. As I was editing this, just I don't know why I said what I said. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I'm not saying that the NES is bad. I'm not even saying that the games look too bad. For the time, they were okay. I'm just saying that it most, although most other game consoles like even the N64 and the SNES, their games have aged pretty well. A lot of NES games haven't. Like they still have their charm. I still like playing NES games from time to time, but uh, that's pretty much what I mean. Like, they just, it hasn't aged all too well. So, you know, let, let's just, let's get back to this video. Like, there are some good games on there. Like, The Legend of Zelda is pretty good. The original game is pretty good. Um, but just, it's been, like, shot out of the water by a bunch of, by Nintendo themselves, honestly. Like, just, like, the NES is fondly remembered and everything, but it's like, it was made to be succeeded. Does that make any sense? It was made to be succeeded. That that's pretty much what I'm trying to get at here. It's been it was made to be uh, succeeded. That's that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, next up we have Game Boy in um, B. I didn't really play the Game Boy too much, but I like it more than color, just because of the novelty of it. So there's not much I can say about that. Next uh, here we have Game Boy Advance as well. Um, kind of same reason. Like there are a lot of games on the Game Boy Advance. It's a pretty good console. Uh, that's why it's kind of like right in the middle. Because it's like, it had good games on it, and I like those games, but there are a lot of RPGs on this game, on, on the Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance is like RPG heaven, and I do like RPGs, but not all of them. <laughs> I don't like all of the RPGs. All the RPGs, they're just kind of okay to me, okay? Um, next up we, here, we also have the N64. Now, the N64 was just, to me at least, it was like, okay. Like, N64 games are fun. Smash Brothers on the N64 is not good. <laughs> it's actually, it was, I mean, it was the first Smash Brothers, I get it, but, and the N64 wasn't too powerful, but like, I mean, come on, like, the only one in that game who looks good is Jigglypuff and Kirby, <laughs> and that's just because they're circles, 
Everyone else, like Donkey Kong, looks horrible. He's literally a stick figure. <laughs> He's just a big stick figure with a giant head. And, I mean, they could have gone more all out for it, but, I mean, I get it. I, I understand. It's fine. I get it. And also here, uh, also here we have the Wii U. We're going to put the Wii U up in B, B tier as well. A lot of people don't like the Wii U. I like the Wii U because of, like, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Maker, Splatoon, the first one. Uh, Hyper Warriors came out on this one, on the Wii U first. The Wii U had a lot of good games that people just slept on. And, um, I really do like the Wii U. I don't play it much nowadays because a lot of the Wii U games have Switch ports and, or sequels on the Switch. So, the Wii U is kind of obsolete. But, like, the, the few years that I had the Wii U and nothing else, those were, like, pretty good, pretty good years. I was pretty happy with how I was playing my games. I was pretty happy with it. Okay. Now, up in A tier, we have the DS and the 3DS. Now, um, oopsies. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like lumping these two together for like the same, for similar reasons. DS games are really good. A lot of DS games are really good. My favorite Pokemon game of all time is on the DS, which instantly brings it up to at least like A tier because it can play my favorite, my favorite Pokemon game of all time, Pokemon Black and White 2. Um... The 3DS, it was my first Nintendo handheld. It was my first Nintendo console apart from the Wii, uh, which wasn't really even mine. Like, my dad bought it when I was, like, six, and I played the hell out of that. But, um, but yeah, he just, um, so my parents for my, like, 12th, no, wait, for my, like, 10th birthday or something, were like, hey, do you want a 3DS? And I was like, <gasps> I didn't even know what a 3DS was, but I was like, yes, please. I think it was 11. Um... So I was like, yes, please, I would want a 3DS. So I got one, and I loved it, and Pokemon X and Y were on it, and lots of good games were on it, but Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon were on it, which brings it down like a tear by itself. But, uh, yeah, I really I really did like it. It was a big part of my childhood, honestly. And just, you know, it, it isn't any higher because of the fact that it was just like every single 3DS game was also on the Wii U. Like, nearly every single one had a Wii U version. And, um, just... It kind of devalued the 3DS after a while. Like, it had really good games. And, but, like, everything else was also on the Wii U. So it was kind of like the Wii U and the 3DS were, like, shared. While at the same time, they were, like, competing with each other. It's it's confusing. It it, it, it did get... It, it is kind of confusing, actually, thinking about it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So... Here, uh, up next up in A tier, we also have the SNES. Um, the SNES has some great games, man. Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, Super Mario RPG. Um, the Chrono Trigger is actually very good. I haven't finished it yet, but I've got I uh, started playing it on my SNES Classic, and it it's 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 really good. It's good so far. I just I haven't found the time to finish it. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of good ones that I'm missing out on. Uh, Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island was really good. Um, what else was there? There was... Why can't I remember? Mario was missing. Dude, that game. Best game of 2019, even though it came out like 25 years ago. Um, and just mostly the mere fact that you went from the SNES to the... No, I'm sorry. You went from the NES to the SNES, and it was like a huge jump. And quality. It was amazing. And people were like, whoa, this is amazing. And you were like, I know, right? And it was, oh my god, so good. It was, it was, it's, it's good. And luckily, now with the SNES Classic and the even the NES Classic, kids nowadays can experience these good, high quality games and stuff. And um, it, it's good. It's, it's really good. Like, good. Oh, Super Mario Kart. Actually, Super Mario Kart isn't that good, <laughs> but still, it's on the SNES. It started Mario Kart. Um, and also here, next up in A tier, you guys may be kind of, re you guys may be think questioning my sanity, but also the Nintendo Switch, okay? Now, the only reason the Switch isn't in S tier is because it's still going on. Like, yes, we've seen a lot of good high-quality exclusives. We've seen a lot of good games on it. Nintendo is probably doing better now than they ever have with their marketing techniques and with the games that they're actually coming out with. But my... I I like the Switch, but I want to see the final product before I can really base it off base it off anything right now. Like, like we do have really good games. Smash Ultimate alone makes the console worth it. 
But, um, but like if Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion and Breath of the Wild two and Bayonetta three and all of those other games that are coming up in the future, if they all end up being bad, then what's well, then the Switch will be bad too. So kind of like. I'm just hesitant to put it in S tier, so it's just gonna be at the top of A. But think about it as like a very thin line. Like it could like one more huge exclusive an is announced, and bam, instant S tier. Okay, so next up here we have my boy. Dude, I actually don't know which one to put first. You know what? Here, I'm gonna put them both. Imagine S tier is like the exact same spot. You can like inter inter interchange the GameCube and the Wii. Okay, the GameCube was a huge improvement to to uh, uh, the N64. Ginormous. Maybe, like, if the N64... Look at the N64's... Um, the Su Super Mario 64. Look at that Mario model, and then look at Mario Sunshine's Mario model. They are so different, and Mario Sunshine's model is just so much better. Oh, my God. Like, even graphics... Just taking graphics into consideration, huge jump. It, like, most of the GameCube games nowadays, I think, still hold up visually. Like, like, Melee, like, it doesn't look as good as some other games, but think about it. It still looks good. It still looks passable. Mario Sunshine still looks like, honestly, like, if you showed me Mario Sunshine and you asked me what year it came out on, I honestly would have said, this maybe could have come out on, on, like, the Wii U. I could have said, like, or maybe not the Wii U, because it's not HD. But I could have said, oh, this may have been made only a couple years ago. Well, guess what? That game came out almost 20 years ago. It came out, like, 18 years ago. That's insane. And then, like, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion actually still looks really good. That game literally did come out 20 years ago. And it still, still looks good. It looks really good, actually. Like, like I have a GameCube. I have a silver GameCube. I recently got it. And I've just been playing the hell of it. Luigi's Mansion, I've never played it before, but I'm playing it now. And it's really good. It's it's actually good. And it's actually kind of scary. Like the baby boss ghost? Yeah. That thing kind of freaked me out. But it still looked good. And, I'm, and the Wii, the Wii is just my childhood. I got the Wii when I was like six-ish. I don't really know what year it was, but I was around that time. And we had like this, this we had, we got it modded. My dad got it modded. So there were a bunch of games. Smash Brothers Brawl. It is slow, and it is pretty bad, but it's still, I, it was still, like, close to my heart right there. I have a whole, I have a whole stack of Wii games just over here. Let me just get a couple. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I know that also came out on the PS2, but still, who cares? Um, um, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yes, that also came out on the GameCube, but it was better on the Wii. Um, Mario Sports Mix. You guys may think, ew, Mario Sports Mix, what are you talking about? Well, actually, um, love... Mario Sports Mix is a really cool game. Okay, it's really good. Mario Party 8. People like to sleep on Mario Party 8. It's probably my favorite Mario Party. I'm gonna be real. Um, visually, I honestly think that some of some Wii games do look worse than some GameCube games because there's not a huge jump in power uh, in between the two. But there are so many good Wii games out there, and just that's my childhood. So think about GameCube and Wii. If they were combined. Or, like, either way, I can't put one over the other. They are tied for first for me. Like, you can just, like, you can move this around however you want. It doesn't really matter. These two, th they're staying up here, whether we like it or not. So, thank you so much for watching this. Let me know what you guys think about the Nintendo consoles and handhelds, the tier list right there. Um, let me know, would you put Virtual Boy any higher than its own bottom tier? <laughs> would you, uh, what would you, would you do about that? So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully we can do more tier list videos. I want to do more tier list videos. That This has actually been very fun to look back. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Stay shrinky. Bye-bye.